Well, um, the Queer Film Festival form part of the Film Pride Month events that we'll be having. We'll be having it every Tuesday for the month of June at various events that we will discuss later. And basically, we noted that it was very important for us to highlight the, the lived experience and the life of the LGBTQI plus community because it's not very often that you see them on Namibian screens. And when they do appear, it's very rarely that they do get um, shown again and rescreened. And then, you know, they just like collect that in archives at theaters and broadcast centers. Yeah. So basically we thought that, you know what, it's time for us to bring most of these stories together and to create like a festival dedicated to queer directors and queer storylines on Namibian soil as well as shorter stories on African soil that we could also share. And we thought that, you know, this is very pivotal to where we stand today as Namibians to say fight towards LGBTQ and an equal justice society so that we can have people see how we live is not very different from how other people live. It's just that the rights that we receive in this country is very different and we would just like equality and we would just like acceptance in our society. Not all of the movies that will be showcased are Namibian. Talk to us about some of the other movies that will be, uh, you know, showed at this festival. Um, well, so we have Sodom and Gomorrah, Exporting Homophobia to Africa, which is a Ugandan story. This is um, a documentary. It, they basically discuss how Africa is homophobic, and Uganda is a country famous for it. Kill the Gay Bill. Mm -hmm. So basically, it's an epidemic of violence and murder against LGBTQI people. But this um, story focuses on how they reinforced laws and how they, you know, were spreading all of these extreme anti-homosexuality agenda through the continent and how it affected the lives of the Ugandan people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That was shown last, that was shown this week, Tuesday, it was one of the first tranche of movies that was shown. And then we had Bonnie and Wes from South Africa, and it was about Bonnie, Simi, and Wesley, Leo, and it's just a story about life and love and the long distance that they have between them and the pieces of their identity just encompassed into a quick 10 minutes. Yeah. Film. Venicia, what narrative are you trying to, you know, bring across for these screenings? We're trying to expand the arts industry in Namibia as well, culture and arts, for LGBTQI individuals to feel safe and to feel comfortable to express their identity in an artistic, in a short storytelling way, or in a cultural way. Because we don't want to exclude um, that narrative from the Namibian culture. Tell, talk to us about how, you know, other than, you know, the Pride Month movie festival that's happening now, what other, you know, ac activities or in, in what other manners will you celebrate this month? All right. So this month is actually a jam-packed. <laughs> we started off with the drag branch and the rainbow sidewalk. Um, we did that in the first, the last weekend of May. So basically inaugurate Pride Month. And we had to repaint the sidewalk in front of Brewer's Market, which is the second landmark in South Africa and Namibia's first landmark um, from the LGBTQI community. Mm -hmm. um, we also had a digital advocacy training with Sister Namibia, where we basically focused on the art and the strengths social media has brought with where we are today and how we can expand on that to create a more um, fun and advocating environment because that's where the energy is of today's world, the society. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then, of course, we had drag night. Um, the, the queens were performing. We had a beautiful theme. That we had the drag night the 2000s, so that was very beautiful. For the rest of the month, we're going to have a Love is Love is exhibition where we will have print media from various LGBTQI artists showcased at Cafe Prestige. It is moved to the 16th of June and the entrance is free. Fantastic. Um, next week, yeah, yeah, next week. And then we have the Queer Film Festival for the rest of the Tuesdays. Mm -hmm. The next one is at the Village Opera. And then we have the third one at the Multipurpose Center in Katatura. 
Mm-hmm. And then the last one will be at Brewers Market. Awesome. And then last two events we have is just a, another Pride pop-up festival. So if anybody has an exhibition they could they would like to set up, um, they could please reach through on our social media at Pride Week, Pride Pop-up, to um, register for their store. 